Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So we hope that you guys are all doing well. Today's special topic is aviation. According to Collins Dictionary, the word aviation is the operation and production of aircraft. Throughout history, humans have been very fascinated with aviation and flying. From the invention of kites, claimed to be invented by two Chinese philosophers, Mozai and Lu Ban, around the 5th century BC, to people creating giant bird-like wings in attempts to fly, to the Wright brothers, Orville and Wilbur, who have been generally credited for inventing, building and flying the first ever motor-operated airplane in 1903. And what makes a flight possible is the four principles of flight. So number one is thrust. Thrust is a force that moves an aircraft in the direction of a motion. So this can be created by a propeller as you can see over here. Whoa. A turbine engine or a rocket. So number two is drag. Drag is the force that acts opposite to the direction of the motion. Number three is weight. Weight is the force that is caused by gravity. And number four is lift. Lift is the force that lets the airplane to stay up in the air. And for an airplane, the wings create most of the lift. And when these forces are balanced out, a plane flies in level direction. And these forces can be changed to maneuver the airplane. So here are the, some parts of the plane which are used to fly and maneuver it. So let me show you guys. So guys, check out our super cool C-17 military cargo plane. It has a real nice aerodynamic design with giant wings with four turbine engines and winglets, ailerons and flaps. At the back we have our tail with elevators and the top and bottom rudders. So this is just such a cool plane. And when all the parts work together, they can fly and maneuver the plane. So that is just so cool. Wow! So guys, Alhamdulillah, humanity has come a long way from trying to wear giant wings in attempts to fly to building giant commercial airplanes for international travel and inventing supersonic and hypersonic jets which are much faster than the speed of sound. And with ongoing advancements in space technology, perhaps one day humanity will be travelling in amazing spaceships and exploring different planets and maybe even different galaxies. Inshallah. That would be so amazing. Alright guys, so now that we have briefly discussed aviation, it's time for show and tell. I wonder what we'll see today. So guys, since I am a member of Scouts, I have had the blessed opportunity to be invited to Cybel for Young Aviators Day. So for show and tell day, why don't I take you guys along for my fun field trip to Cybel Aerodome for Young Aviators Day. That will be so cool. So let's go! So for show and tell day, we're going to be doing something super special. I've been selected by the Scouts to go on a real airplane with professional training. I am super excited and I'm very grateful for this amazing opportunity. So let's go! So guys, over here is the Cybo Aviation Museum. So 
So let's go. Check this out. I've already got that one. Um, the box is up. Yes, the box is up. It's cold. Nice. Whoa. That is so amazing. Is that the real guest? The real one? The real guest? So over here is an old fight simulator. So guys, over here is an old air raid site. my training I get to ride on one of these planes I am so excited and I'm so blessed to have the opportunity Alhamdulillah I will be riding the airplanes all right guys so pretty soon I'm going to be flying in one of these planes. Wow, I'm just so excited. This is the play.
right guys so now it's been a very long day and we had so much fun alhamdulillah so we had a quiz we learned about navigation and maps and last but not least we had a super fun flight and guess what guys Rohan got to go on a plane as well isn't that so amazing guys we are so blessed to have this opportunity alhamdulillah all right guys remember to hit that subscribe and like button and notification bell and until next time take care peace be on to you and bye all right guys so we hope that you guys enjoyed our super fun field trip to Saibal Aerodrome for Young Aviators Day. We had so much fun, alhamdulillah. It was such a great blessing. And what is another blessing is that my mom, dad and my brother also got to go on a private airplane later that day. And that is just amazing, alhamdulillah. And now it is time to conclude our video with an inspirational quote. I wonder what it says. So over here we have our super cool scroll and it says, Iman is like an airplane ride. The higher you go, the smaller the things on earth look. Wow, this is such a thought provoking quote. Indeed, when you go on an airplane, the things on earth look small. And the higher up the airplane goes, everything looks smaller and smaller. And for those people whose faith in Allah SWT and the hereafter increases, their views on this world also change, having far less value. And seeing this world as an illusion, quickly fading away. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our iman and grant us success in this life, but especially in the hereafter, inshallah. Alright guys, so we hope that you guys enjoyed our video and learned something new from it. Remember to hit that subscribe button, like button and notification bell. And until next time, take care, peace be on to you and bye! Whoa!